everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition where we're gonna go drop off this data system to the proprietor of Flux. I don't know, maybe that makes me a joke. Excuse me. <laughs> She's like, oh, my pathing changed all of a sudden. Um, maybe it's kind of a dick move, really. Realistically, I probably just throw it away. <laughs> like if some guy was gonna like, oh wait, do I actually... Uh, I might not actually have it. I think I don't, I don't think he even handed it to me because I was like, no. I don't want it. Maybe I'll be very paladin-y. Right. Let's do it. Let's try it. Ah, change your mind? You gonna help me record those wins? Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? Mm -hmm. It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Sure. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you. I mean, if you if you're gonna hand this off to somebody you don't even know. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Who's like... Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. You're gonna, like, freaking... Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Like, uh, he's handing it off to an Alliance military official, who, to be fair, like, the military has corrupt individuals. I still can't believe that could happen out in the open like that. Neither could you. The CSEC agent said there has been an increase in violent crimes in the area lately. Did you say why? Me! No. I'm kind of scared of the issue. It's those damn humans. <laughs> well, I mean... Listen. They all act like they've been living here forever. It's everybody's. Let's see, where is Where where is he? Where's the Volus proprietor? Maybe it's not who I I'm waiting for someone else. Who are you? Oh, is that him? It is him. Hello again. Can I help you? I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing mm -hmm. this to me. No problem, payment. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the quasar on the house. Oh, okay. I should be going. <laughs> He's like gamble. Enjoy your time Get here at Flux. Here, uh, what can we do? Medium stakes. There are medium stakes. Only low stakes and high stakes. We'll try a low stakes game first. I don't get it. I still don't understand. Do I have like a limited? Do I have like a limited number of, of, of choice of, of like? Ha! Huh! Like a limited number of buttons I can press. Well, so that was one. Two. Also, I used to have a few rounds of Quasar on the house, and and I only got one, so that's uh, that's that's not nice. Hey there, welcome to. Hey, well, well, thank you. Um. <laughs> hey, good to see another human. I can't believe you're a bouncer. Like we're pretty wimpy, really. Hey, turn it in. So, did you record five wins with the device yet? It's gone. Actually, I gave your device to Doran. 
but that was years of work. What am I gonna do now? Something useful? You could put your talents to better yeah. use. Yeah. You're no help. <laughs> this is absolutely the worst day of my life. <laughs> if you can make something like that, you should be able to make something that's, you know, beneficial instead of, like, parasiting off society. <laughs> This is the worst day of my life. I've never done that one. Oh, um. Yeah, CSEC. We have to go back to CSEC to go up. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, okay. We good, we good. In entertainment news, Francis Kidd oh, has announced yeah. plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Which is the exact opposite. <laughs> the exact opposite of the point of Hamlet. Like, Hamlet doesn't do anything. Like, that's the thing. Like, his deeds, like, Hamlet just sits around <laughs> most of the time. And, like emotes <laughs> you know <laughs> uh, i mean it would be fascinating as like a cultural exchange but and it would be interesting i would go see it once and you do get to see that actually you don't get to see it see it but you get to see the um the director and the hamlet in the mass effect 3 in progress. mass effect 3 citadel dlc um so that does come to fruition logged the commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. I think we're good. Every time you come back in, there's something new to look at. I, mean, I don't think you have anything. Yes, Commander. Nope. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. What shall we do? There's so much to do. Go do. Oh no, not that one. Yeah. What arm could there be in talking to him? Argus Row Hydra System. Message. No! Patch it I'm trying to check my list off. Commander Ms. Algelani's story on you just. Hey, aired. what up? She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. She wasn't the most sympathetic audience. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the spectators yeah, no, look bad. I ain't hiding that. The mention of him was politically inconvenient. How angry was the Council? About what you'd expect. Don't worry too much about it, Commander. They're always angry with us. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Admiral? I didn't say who he was. But it's that that's Admiral Haggett. He's the head honcho. I'm sure many of you know that, but some of you probably don't. Um, I, I sometimes I get mixed up on the exit versus zoom out button because it. Well, and they may have actually made it consistent across the three games now, but it used to be in Mass Effect One it was different than Two and Three. They flipped them, which was weird. <laughs> they probably made it consistent now. Let's do it. This system only has two. Hydra. Phoenix and Hydra. Oh yeah, there she is. Let's go. Also, I like the cutscenes like this, right? Where like, you, like it's kind of disguising a loading screen. But you get to see your ship take off. It's just little things that I like like that. You know? I mean, I like big things too. <laughs> Being able to see yourself be transported and like in it exiting and entering Message ships. Message for you, Commander. Just yeah. came in over a secure channel. Oh, it's. This is Admiral Goku. I found out who set that trap for my Don't head. go. The ones killed by the. Don't do it. Bomb. Damn! I hope you get this message. Yeah. It was a group called Serpers, an Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. 
dropped right off the grid. Went rogue. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up rogue. to. Rogue. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super. Ah, uh, foreshadowing. Any proof? But I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is. This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find go, me. Go, 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 go. I think he didn't actually, because at first I was like, oh, he goes out and finds them, like, by himself, which is dumb. But it's not. Uh, he, I think he was trying, like, he did what he, he got the information, put himself at risk, and, like, brought it, brought their attention to him. Cerberus, what a strange organization. Mmm. <laughs> Or surface scorching hot. Planet has an extensive network of subterranean caves formed over the millennia by volcanic processes in these relatively cool areas. Some primitive life has developed. I caves are nice. Medgar. Message coming. It's such through. a heavy communications. This is a general distress call. <gasps> the sacred angel medical transport. <gasps> Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Margos. Communications failing. Life support and emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Ooh, level two heat hazard. Mitgoss is a large terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Again, hot surface mainly composed of nickel. It's a mineralogical treasure trove with concentrated heavy elements constantly being brought to the surface of volcanic activity. It's inhospitable and dangerous, and expeditions must be well prepared to survive any length of time. High mass heat trapping, cl uh, heat trapping clouds and constant volcanic venting. Mitgoss seems well to be coming at the new sea and pressure cooker world. Hang on, let me see. Okay, I wasn't sure. Some, I think there's like one or two where like a ship will actually show up. Sort of. Like, that might be an un, that might be an unknown scanning thing though. We have to, the ship emergency landed here and it was not prepared for it. So that sucks. I don't think we, we don't, we don't find survivors very often out here, truly. Mako! I want a poster of the Mako. Oh, I don't have to level anybody up. Uh, map. Transponder signal, anomaly, debris. Right, let's make a nice little circle. Look at this planet! It's spooky! Spooky. There's the volcanic activity. That's cool, that's cool. I think, um, good. Can I? Yeah, we go kind of over here. And then turn. Uh, I don't know if any if, if you guys don't follow Lazare on Twitter, you really should. They do amazing art uh, of like uh, Mass Effect and Dragon Age, and they are also a connoisseur of the Mako. And uh, for that, I appreciate them very, very much. <laughs> but uh, they just did a really cool looking like for a, a piece based off of the newest Dragon Age concept art that we've seen with the Antivan Crow person. Okay, here we go. Turian insignia. An old, very old letter stamp with the Gothis colony insignia. Unfortunately, the text is indecipherable. So that's our last one. Ah, okay, I'm getting back in and going. That's the last, like, listing of collectathons that we have to get, is the Turian insignias. Which they usually have on flags or some, some something like that, 
but they uh, also put on their faces. I don't know if they did that so much in the past or if that's like a recent thing now that they're not. Like, it, it's from a time, I think, when they were a lot more like warlike like warring periods type time, you know, when like the different clans and groups were more disparate. I guess like kind of like the warring states and like period in Japan, kind of. From what little I know of that, it seems similar. Thanks, anime! No, I'm just kidding. Like half of my knowledge of the warring states period comes from anime, but not all of it. <laughs> so probably only like 30% of my knowledge is correct. <laughs> I've been listening, though, recently to a, a Crusades podcast, which is really interesting. It started in, like, 2013, um, and the first hundred or so episodes are on, like, the, the Crusades, as, like, a lot of us in the West think of the Crusades, like, the five plus, like, their the disparate ones, like the Children's Crusade and, like, King Philip's Crusade or whatever, that weren't, like, officially sanctioned Crusades. Anyway, there's 300 episodes total. Um, because, uh, the woman doing it, she also does, like, the Baltic Crusades, I think, or something. Like, d slightly different Crusades that are, like, I, I, haven't, I haven't gotten to that part yet, but I assume they're different in some way, because I've, and I've never heard of them. But it's, like, it's completely, dis like, separate, distinct, like, section that she's got. Ooh, grenade. Oh, I was gonna maybe give red. Nope. And we don't. Oh, we do. Shield tech cooldown bonus though. Let's do that. Yeah. That doesn't. Nope. 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 What am I looking at? What am I trying to look for? Oh yeah, grenade upgrade. Not that I have any grenades right now. I don't. Oh, I have three. Maybe. Maybe I get half of them rebuild when I go back. High explosive. Yeah. Ah! That level 2 hazard thing goes up much faster. Anyway, I don't really know why I brought the Crusades up other than that, like, I get a lot of my historic stuff now through podcasts, I guess. <laughs> so, if you know a good, uh, like, uh, what about Japanese history, I'm constantly looking for, like, good, like, history of podcast type thing um, but the nice the, one of the nice things about the history of the crusades podcast is it's uh she the, the sources she uses some of them are like european but she has like at least one big source if not like a couple other ones that include the, the arabian like people's perspective you know like middle eastern perspective on the crusades so it's cool to get like both sides you know and like it does focus more on like the european um like take on it since they were the one that instigated it you know and were the ones invading <laughs> so um yeah but and maybe we just have more sources for it from the european side i'm not sure um but it is nice because it gives you <laughs> oh i should do like photo mode midair or something anyway it's nice that she gives uh, multiple perspectives um, from like the two sides, air quotes, you know, of, of the, of the conflict. This is conflicts. Oh, geez. Oh, it's okay, the Mako never lands on her back. She's like a cat. She's not a turtle or a beetle. She doesn't get stuck. Go, 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 go. Oh, another thorium? Does that mean... Oh, I can't remember if I get to... If, if that counts again. I think it should. If nothing else, even if you've completed your mining, because you can, you can complete the mining quest without... Um, it looks like the signal's coming from that wreckage. You can complete the mining Hello, quest. Shepherd. I've got a... Thank you, Rex, for reminding me. Uh, you can complete it without... Having done like hit hit all the about this. hit hitting all the minerals like you don't have to hit every single one but you do still get XP uh, which is nice. Is this the Gith one? Yeah, 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 yeah I told you I told I told you. So hard. Oh my gosh, there's little 
freaking drones. Don't run you over. No, just run both of you over. tempted to get out and fight them on foot, but it is such a, it's, it's a time investment, especially on insanity, I can only assume. Look at that, look at that body go. Girl, look at that body. More XP for running them over. Who's left? Oh. Sorry, did I forget about you? Well. That was that distress beacon. Ah! Okay, the combat scanner I should probably use. Oh, I'll put it on my pistol. Oh, we should give Tally? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did we get to do a assault rifle? Or a shotgun? No. It's not really that much better. Assault rifles, though. He does use the assault rifle. Sure. And... Sure. Make your assault rifle like a shotgun. I don't know if just having the combat sensor equipped. Combat sensor. Combat scan. The sensor and scanner are the same thing. It's just changing the the level detection. I'm not sure if having it equipped on a weapon actually like lets it work for me even when I'm not holding it, you know? But it's all good. No big deal. Cerberus, turning insignia. Fortunately you were able to survive. Okay. Those are on the whole, it seems, uh, fine. Except it's not. Man, I was hoping for more min Sometimes you can get multiple minerals on a planet. Maybe if I went south? I'm not going south, am I? doesn't have a north on here as far as I can tell. Unless that little arrow is supposed to be north. But I'm facing east. Oh! I'm so, I'm I keep looking at I keep looking at this little arrow, the white arrow, but that's actually not an arrow, it's a flag. Hmm. Where how do I leave? <laughs> I had a brain fart for a second. We're gonna go look at other stuff in the system. Metgos. Hey, here. It's a large gas giant. Ow, it was shipped by an asteroid at least 12 kilometers in diameter in the last 100 years. The superheating caused by the impactor's atmospheric passage created a large bank of vicious storms along the equatorial bend, which we cannot see. From here, anyway. Survey, whoa. 
Oh, this is a good one. Turian insignia. Scans of the planet can room reveal dangerous levels of radiation coming from orbit. Chief Engineer Adams did a further scan and discovered the remnant remains of an ancient warhead marked with the Parthia colony insignia. It's a small rocky world with a trace atmosphere by hitting Krypton. Karum was the site of the warlord Shiagur's defeat by Turian peacekeeping forces during the Krogan rebellions. While this band was not especially powerful, Shiagur was a female warlord and one of the few remaining fertile females of that. She had, through viciousness and cunning, parlayed her unique value into a position of power. Krogan males competed for the right to join her band and lie with her. When Shiagur's death was announced, vengeful male Krogan admirers near and far swore blood oaths against the participating Turian crews. In the end, several thousand of the Turian participants were killed in open combat or through assassination. To this day, many Krogan proudly proclaim that they have the blood of Shiagur. Yeah, so she's the only female warlord. Uh, as far as I know. As far as they, oh no, she was a female warlord, so we don't know for sure if there were more. But hers is a story that inspires a lot of Krogan. And we will go to, and that is one of the other reasons, one of the many reasons, I read the planetary descriptions. Atash. Is this a gas train? It's big. The sun blasted terrestrial world. Okay, it blasted away millennia ago. Due to relatively low density, Katashi is tidally locked to Phoenix. The relatively low density of such a large mass, seasoned molten light metals cover much of the sunward side. Okay. Wow, so Miriam. Oh, oh, there it is. A weak intermittent signal at a frequency of 1540 hertz. Parthian data disk during a scan of the Phoenix system asteroid field, you detected an odd energy reading that Tally determined was quarrying in nature. She led a recon team into the asteroid field where she discovered an abandoned freighter. The team could not determine why the ship was there, but they did find a Parthian data disk on board. It's such a mystery. Like, I love these little these little blurbs too, right? Where it's like, oh, I wish I could go do that, but it is kind of fun, like, to know that, like, you know. Not, not necessarily Shepard's doing everything herself, right? Like, she stays on the ship while her friends go out, or, like, Tally will sometimes bring things on board, and, like, Engineer Adams, and stuff like that. They're the ones that like to do stuff with that. Zoom out. Oh, pretty. That green. It's a standard hydrogen. I mean, this was somebody who was like, I don't know what more you want from me, <laughs> describing these planets. Not all of them can have fun stories. It's a pretty one, though. Oh, a landing planet. It's an enormous low density terrestrial planet with a thick atmosphere of methane and helium. Uh, it's gray heat, it starts gray heat, and it's the thickness of the atmosphere. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, uh... Oh, it makes the surface. Oh, the star's great heat and the insulating thickness of the atmosphere from the planet makes the surface surprisingly temperate. The crust is mainly composed of sodium and silicon dioxide, deposits of various light minerals. It's not habitable. The relative pleasantness of the surface conditions make it a popular location for small traveling ships. Okay, let me look at this. Let me look at this other planet in this asteroid field. Blah, 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 rare but concentrated low light mesels. One hemisphere of the Benak is covered by surface deposits of oxidized copper approximately 270 years ago. Turian bolt gas transport was attacked by pirates in the Phoenix system. Damage made a rough landing on Benak. The heat of the landing melted significant quantities of surface ice and ruptured shipping, ca shipping containers spilled locks across the surface before this evaporated and escaped. Uh, Fabinox's weak gravity it reacted to cause the widespread rust. Interesting. Thank you. Ooh, exploring! Of course. Just, whoa, no. The squad. The one true squad to rule them all. Unfortunately, we'll have to cut this. Ooh! 
Oh, they didn't put in tracks. I was kind of hoping they'd put in tracks. They did in Andromeda, and I liked that. I don't, maybe on the moon you might be able to do tracks, I think, but I don't think anywhere else you get to do tracks. Anyway, I should call this one here. Um, interrupt our pleasant excursions. Uh, for more excursions later. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one.